Touch forward by Parker. And Leeds can break down this right-hand side. There's space over here for Snodgrass if they spot it. Here is Snodgrass, just Beckford up in support at the moment. Might fancy going it alone. It's in towards the far post and curling just over. Really good effort, which just didn't quite dip in time to dip underneath that crossbar. Smith could only watch it sail over. Delph will give chase. And Leeds will regain possession. Parkett. Beckford. And Mankwa takes it off him and Beckford's tenacity may earn him a caution there. It was a rather rash challenge. And Mankwa seems to be in some pain going down holding that right ankle. Just lost the ball and then his eagerness to win it back. He was so keen to get possession back that he's launched himself a little bit too zealously. Douglas will try to pick out Marquez. Get another second bite at the cherry and Beckford with the overhead kick. Isn't too far away. Well worth the go from Jermaine Beckford. Douglas wins the throw in from Robson Carnu. And we'll get it back here in the space on the near post to Beckford again. Palm behind by Smith. His 29th goal of a really impressive season. Surely can't be too far away. Again, the big men are forward. Dealt with well though on the near post. Housen. Back to Fabian Delph. And space on the far side. Lofted over towards Beckford. And that is the 29th goal of Jermaine Beckford's season. Snodgrass with the cross. Beckford with a foul post header. And Leeds United have the lead with just three and a half minutes to go. It's taken them a while to break Swindon down, but Jermaine Beckford has finally made the breakthrough. He's come close before, and now he's close to the 30-goal mark. Well found by Stolgras. And he beats the defender at the far post, Morrison, to nod down into the unguarded net. Relief all round Ellen Road. Timlin with perhaps one last long ball forward. Flicked on towards Morrison, who's free here. And heads straight at a very grateful goalkeeper. Kasper Ankergren clutches it out of the air. And Swindon's resilience may well be finally broken.